Hey everybody, Larry Lawton. Yes, you're probably looking at me saying, what the hell is Larry doing now? I'll tell you what Larry's doing now. If you recognize how dirty I am, you're going to understand how pissed off I am in this video and why I went to this extreme to do what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not even going to be talking about books or cigars or anything. I'm talking about something that made me so sick that I had to do a video like this to get your attention, to get people's attention. Let me ask you a question. Did everybody notice how dirty I am? How do you not recognize a man who was eaten alive by bedbugs and insects in the Fulton County Jail in Georgia? You tell me how more people didn't understand this. Literally, I'm going to show you right now a video and a picture of what this guy lived in. No human being, no animal deserves to live like this. And there isn't an excuse any sheriff can give or fire a few senior people because the whole damn place should be fired. It's just unbelievable. The image is hard to look at. 35-year-old LaShawn Thompson unresponsive in a Fulton County jail cell covered in what his family's attorney says are insect and bedbug bites. To be eaten alive by bedbugs and insects. This is not just me saying that. This is me getting so pissed off that I put mud on my face and dirt on my shirt over George Washington because our forefathers are turning over their freaking graves right now. I am that mad about this. This is 2023 and people don't give a shit that much? For real? Am I just saying something? Is this really for real? LaShawn Thompson, 35 years old, diagnosed with schizophrenia and mental conditions, taken to the Fulton County Jail on misdemeanor battery charge, misdemeanor battery charge. He's put in the psychiatric ward. This is what their psychiatric ward? Shouldn't we treat people who are the elderly, disabled, mentally ill, a little bit better than even a common criminal? You shouldn't treat any human being. And we wonder why the United States is going down in, in, in recognition and being looked up from other countries. No way. I know I talk about the prison system, how bad it is. And I talk about uh, the crap I went through. And I'm going to talk about that. But the sheriff in this place, a guy named Pat Labatt, he announced major changes. So what does he do? He asked for the resignation. Doesn't it? fire people on the spot. He asked for the resignation and he did get them. But that means they could put in a resignation, write whatever letter they want. He asked for the resignation of the assistant uh, chief of the jailer, Colonel John Jackson. He asked for the resignation of the assistant jailer, a Lieutenant Colonel Derek Singleton. And the another resignation of the assistant jailer, head of the criminal division, a Lieutenant Colonel Adam Lee. Big deal. He said they're going to do a great investigation. We're going to have an open investigation, and it's time to change. You know, if it takes a man to be eaten by bedbugs. Now, this has been reported all over now. Now, getting away from something like this is, I don't understand, does this sheriff ever make himself an inspection of this facility? Does he? Does anybody? How about the guards themselves? How about the lieutenants and the, and the sergeants? How about the people in the jail themselves? Do they ever walk around and look at this filthy piece of garbage place that I wouldn't put a, 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 a rabid dog to go die? Is that what, what kind of shit we're coming to right now? It's got me... It, it's got me so mad right now. You know, they're going to give this, this uh, uh, case to the Georgia Borough Investigation. The Atlanta Police Department is going to investigate it. So is their internal affairs division, and they're going to give to the Jura Bureau of Investigations. Well, I hope and I really pray that some people uh, uh, break this out and come out with this. And I'm going to talk about it right now. This, I mean, the parents of this kid and, and the people who are seeing this and a lawyer spoke. Uh, I can't even imagine. How about your family not recognizing you? I put mud all over my face just to show you. I'll bet everybody noticed it. Everybody. How many people walked by that cell and didn't recognize a guy's arms? And you should see the body in the, it, and, and even feed him. And this is a mental health part. This is the psychiatric ward. You'd think they'd be checking on these people for suicide. 
or checking on these people for other reasons. I mean, I, I thought I saw it all until this. And I've saw some conditions, and I'm going to talk about it. Overcrowding in prisons right now in the USA, often overcrowding has gone crazy. Our prison system is so broke. We have over 2 million people. These jails are overcrowded. These prisons are overcrowded. What does that lead to? People being confined in small spaces. Now, when people are, are put in small places, I was there. I was in Atlanta. I was in the holdover cell in Atlanta, and we had five people in a cell. Five. Five people in a cell sleeping on each other, farting shit and doing everything on. I mean, it, it was disgusting. It was disgusting to the point where I ended up cursing out the warden, and they sent me to another hole in the prison itself. They took me out of there. And you know what? That hole was better even though they left me naked in a cell up, up on the top of the tier till they wanted to put me in a cell, and I was freezing. It was better than living in a 8-foot by 10-foot with five people. What is going on in our prison systems? And, and it's not changing. And, you know, everybody, an incident like this happens, and you get the outrage, but there's no uh, accountability to the highest levels. There's no true change. I want people to come tell me, oh, yeah, Larry, this change. Well, this change, this shit don't happen. How does a sheriff get away with that? How does not he inspect the jail himself? Does he ever go around? Does somebody in charge? you damn right you want a resignation. I'd want resignations of every person who ever walked by that cell. Look at it. Damn. Prisoners. Prisoners report every day. They're not given enough sanitary equipment. That is so true. You know, people want to be clean. Some people are filthy. People get it, get it. They don't want to shower. They might smell, whatever. I won't live with a person like that. I'm freaking going crazy right now that I want to jump in a shower. I'm telling you, just for doing this. But I had to do something. I had to show you guys how serious I am. You know, I'm coming out with a book on cooking. And, you know, that's great. All good stuff. This is the stuff that, that needs to be addressed right here, right now. And, and it needs to have advocates coming out for it and emailing and texting and uh, going on social media to their friends, to their people about the conditions people are left in. And this isn't the only jail that's happening. in. You know, it, 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 it gets you so mad because when you really think about things, it's never the first or the only one. Oh, that's the first incident in these conditions like that. Every jailer should go to jail for that. The people who are responsible for the, for the health of that person who is diagnosed with schizophrenia and other mental illnesses so they know he's not right and they let this happen, they should be charged. Yes, when you have the authority over others in a way that can kill them, people should be held accountable in a different way and, they, and they're not. And people want to talk about the color of law. I'll get into the law with you. If that's not deliberate indifference in a case, I hope that lawyer knows that. I hope he calls me. I hope he understands about what deliberate indifference is in the federal system. I can't believe the federal government is not overseeing a jail. Why do we even have a federal government then? I mean, you know, I'm not into that. I'm, I'm all for states and everybody having their own rights. But if this shit happens, this in I mean, look at me. I, I am literally shaking watching these videos. It's driving me crazy, man. Look at this shit. It's driving me nuts. Talk about inadequate medical care. I was in prison and there is no medical care. I love people. Oh, they go to prison and they get medical care. You have no idea because you've never been to prison. They don't get medical care in prison. You break your arm, they'll give you Tylenol. They don't give a shit about you. You know, also this sheriff talked about they're going to look into the contract of the medical care provider. Are you for real? They don't give a shit because they get their contract and they have it in their contract. They'll let people with hepatitis, HIV, hepatitis C, they'll let them go out with any care. You know why? Because then it becomes the public's concern instead of the bottom line of a medical health care team, a, a contractor in a prison. Jails contract that stuff. Well, there's, again, nobody overseeing these people. What are they doing with taxpayer money? Hello, taxpayers. Hello, people. You pay for this crap. And if it was your son, your daughter, your brother, your sister, your father, your uncle, your mother, yes, it can happen. Don't tell me you can't. Oh, I'm a good person. 
because if you go 20 miles an hour over the speed limit and you happen to have an accident and kill someone, you're going to be in that county jail. You're going to be uh, charged with a vehicle homicide. You might be in prison or jail for a long time. Here's the best about this thing. When you go to a county jail, you are presumed innocent because you're not guilty yet. This man was charged with misdemeanor battery. Not convicted, mind you. Not convicted. This is how we hold our people to the to, to the standards. This is what our forefathers. This is why I wore a, a a shirt with George Washington and Mount Rushmore, and I had to put dirt on his face because I guarantee our forefathers are turning over in their grave because this is not what they wanted to, to see happen when we seceded from England. I can guarantee you that when the countries we left have better systems than we do, that's terrible. Most prisons have a lack of ventilation, lack of fresh air. I was in those prisons. I was in the hole when they give you wreck and all there is is a little grit that has supposedly fresh air, no ventilation. What happens? People smell, mold builds up, everything. You think they mandatory clean, mandatory do anything? No, some people have mental illness. Most people going to prison today, especially county jails, have a mental illness. That's fact, that's not me. Are we using our county jails as mental facilities? Absolutely. Do I still think the sheriffs and the people who are responsible should either push for that to get them out or freaking not accept them? We can't be using jails and prisons for mental health facilities. <laughs> now you've got a person who's a regular person. He's subjected to this stuff. He catches diseases. He catches MRSA. You know, MRSA is when it's close contact. It's, it's a skin infection or skin, skin-borne disease, what you get. Most people get uh, uh, these diseases, and MRSA, I was in prison with MRSA when it was spread so bad a guy died because you need a special antibiotic. You think they had that? No. Do you think they waited too long? Absolutely, yes. It got so bad that the guards union was complaining about it because you're in close contact with inmates who have MRSA, M-R-S-A. Look it up. MRSA in prison, look it up. Some places they say there's 80 to 90 percent contagious rates of MRSA in prison. Why aren't any alarms going off? Why is the U.S. Health Department in this stuff? I don't get it. You know, we. You know, my my brain is just going and going and going. I'm sorry, man, but this this hits home because I've been in county jails. I've been in filthy situations. I've been in places where I was on my hands and knees with a fucking towel wiping the floors and trying to clean because the, the, the dirt and the hair and pubic hairs and everything else is on the floors and, and, and the diseases that are down there and the rats that come in there and the mice that come into the cell. I was there. I know what it's like. And this one just really hit me because a guy actually has mental condition and he's eaten by bed bugs. Are you kidding me? And yes, the sheriff announces major changes. Wow, big deal. Major changes. I'm I'm letting three people... No, I'm asking for their resignation. They all said, okay, what are you going to do? Not saying, I... I listen, I understand there's a, a system of, 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 of having to have people and hiring people, and I get all that, whether it's us spending more money for this stuff or something, but there's no excuse coming at it. You can't even... How do you accept that? How does a somebody walk by that cell as a human being and see that and not say something? Where is our humanity, man? Where is where where have we come in this country to treat another human being like this? Really? This is not what America is supposed to be about. This is not what America is supposed to be about. America is supposed to be second chances, compassion, a leader of the free world, show people how to do it. This is how we show other countries how we are. We are no better than a third world country. You know what I just said? A third world country doing the crap they're doing to these people. And that's a fact. You want to talk about mental health conditions? You know, you don't have a mental condition and you're subjected to this? There's no question you're going to come out a little bit scarred. You're going to come out with a mental condition. And it's going to exasperate any other condition you have. There's no question that from claustrophobia to every other uh, 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 panic attack, everything that's going to happen is going to be going crazy. 
it, it, there's no question about it. You, you talk to any mental health professional and you put somebody in that kind of condition, it's going to not only make them commit suicides. Do you know, I read where there was eight deaths in this jail. Eight deaths in this jail from, who knows, hangings, medical care in, in the last year. Less than the last year. Okay, hello, alarms, you know, and I am not sitting here trying to be a bleeding heart liberal. If a person commits a crime, they should be in jail. If it's a crime that they have to be held there, that they're not a threat to the community, or they're not in jail just because they can't afford bail, that's wrong. You know, when you have people who have money so they can get out, people just don't have money because they can't get out. That's wrong, man. You're not supposed to be in debtor's prison in this country, you know. It's called debtor's prison. You're not supposed to be in prison because you can't afford something. Well, if bails are that bad, what are, what, what, you know, Constitution says a reasonable bail. Well, reasonable for a millionaire is going to be anything. A reasonable for a guy who's on the street is going to be almost nothing. You, you, so you help him out. You do something. You have funds for this stuff. You have mental health places to put people in. There are answers. People want to have that. People have to want the answers. I've learned one thing. People ask me, Larry, when is it going to change? It's going to change when we accept how bad it is and people ask for the change. It's sad, yes, people commit crimes. I am not a liberal heart. I am a person who deserves to be in prison. I serve my time. I survived this crap. Some people don't, and that's sad. So many mental health. I was in the hole and I watched a man taking feces out of his ass and putting it right in demonic stuff on walls. That, brought, that man belongs in prison, just a regular prison. He belongs in a mental health prison. Literally taking feces out of his ass and writing crap. I mean, think of that. I'd puke. I'm, I want to puke thinking about it. I can't stand that crap. No pun intended. I, I can't even make light of things where I'm getting sick. I'm full of dirt, and I just had to do that to show how serious I am about something. I don't care about the, you know, the... You know, if there's anything, one thing this channel is for me, it's a, a way to get people's eyes opened so people can see what's going on, so people can pass the word. You know, I have ex-cons come here. I have politicians come here. I, I speak with judges all the time. I speak with police chiefs. I'm always on the side of right. Listen, if a guy's wrong, he's wrong. If a police chief's right and they did something right, I say they are. If they do something that's wrong, then they're wrong. Accept responsibility. But maybe you're not the police chief or the sheriff you deserve to be. Maybe you're not the guy that really can handle this crap. I'm not saying the jobs are easy, man. I'm saying how fucked up we are by accepting what we have now. That's wrong. You know, even a close. I mean, I don't know how to get to somebody. How healthy is this for your staff, prisoner? Any guard, any warden, any person in government who sees this video, how healthy is it for your staff to be around that person? How healthy is it for you all, oh, the good guys? Well, how healthy is them to be around Mercer and HIV and hepatitis C and all the diseases that go around this place? especially in these times with COVID and everything else we got going on. We got so much crap going on, and we're, we just don't give a shit about 2 million people. 2 million people. You know, I read a crazy statistic. This country's gotten so bad, one out of 100 people have some kind of interaction with our court system or probation system. Yeah, we got 300 million people. That means 3 million people are affected in some way, 300 million, I don't know what the fucking numbers are anymore, yeah, it's 30 million, it's 10 million, it's 3 million people are affected in our court system, probation, and something like that, and why is that, do we have too many crazy laws, are we getting too us against them, this so deep we can go with this, but I hope I open your eyes, I hope everybody recognizes what I'm talking about, and I want you to look up the case, of LaShawn Thompson, 35 years old, dead, eaten by bed bugs. Just listen, insects and bed bugs. And I'm showing this picture. I want to show what's going on. I could care less what YouTube does, these does, all these people do about 
uh, 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 YouTube channels and, oh, you can't portray this, you can't say this. Listen, anybody who knows me and anybody who knows this channel, anybody who knows how I am, I tell it like it is. That's it. I'm no better or worse than anybody. I'm no role model. I make mistakes. I'm an idiot a lot of times. But if there's something I know, it's jails, prisons, and crime, and the system. That's why I became a freaking expert on the CFR. Yes, code of federal regulations. What's wrong? And this is wrong. Federal government, get off your ass. I don't care what government we're in right now. Biden, Trump, I can give a shit if it was the Martians. Somebody should take care of this. And if you don't, you don't belong in office. Any of With that said, I don't know. Just listen, please. Don't make bad choices. Anybody, please, please, please. And I know you can still go there. And I know things happen. But I really care. And I don't want to see people go to prison. I really don't. Because this has got to stop. I don't know where it's going to stop, but it's got to stop. Please. Uh, comment. I will be on this one. I will be commenting myself for hours on this video please comment let's let's push this video all over help me with that please have a great day everybody stay safe please and i'll see you on our next video